Okay guys, so we're going to imposition this job quickly. Um, it consists of nine different A2 posters. So if I'm in the job in Brinergy, if I click on pages, you can actually see the the trim size here is 420 by 594, which is A2. Um, okay, so then basically to see how to input, I go into Fastens, I type in the job number to search for it under the jobs tab and open the job and then under method click on method then this basically gives me the information on how to imposition the job so it's going to print on the SM748 color so those are the small A2 plates uh, the working size that it's going to print on is 640 by 455 and it's one it's only going to print one up and the colors are seeing what in the front and nothing on the back and there's nine sets of these okay so to input this job go into your preps and then the first of all we need to find the stock that's basically your artboard at the that everything's going to be on top of like in Illust Adobe Illustrator you have your artboard so this is basically we're gonna just select our artboard here for for 74 we normally use the size here 745 by 559 so just double click on it and then over here where it says sheet work I'm just going to click on that drop down change it to single sided and then just click on to my front view and then basically you go to job create in position and then you just put in the size of your document which was 420 by 594 and these the horizontal is um, how many this is basically telling me how many up I want the job so I'm just going to do it one up so horizontal is one and vertical is one and then I'm going to put the head to the right and the rest is all fine and just click OK and then over here on the grip I click and then I change the measurement to 65 that's the standard the standard grip for SM74 plates for the 8 color so then basically I've got my in position here and I just need to add marks so on your side panel over here under where we found our stock just go to marks and then these are normally things that we all set up for ourselves but I'll still show you guys how to do that so then these are just my my crop marks so just double click on it and it puts it on this is my color bar just double click on it and then the positions wrong here so I'm just gonna put it on top of the imposition um, three moles on top and then I'm going to change the actual color bar to a, to a smaller one, the 641, because that's the width of my paper. And then I'm going to um, put a text mark at the bottom. That just is like your slug line that indicates the, the glove, like the job number and the signature and side and color and everything. <coughs> And then my side lay marks, this is just a little line on the edge of the paper. This is for the left side, so I'm going to double click on that. For 455, 640, it's going to have to be on minus 52. And on this side, the right side, I always also change that to 52. And then these are my registration marks, so I put them all on. Just double click on all of them and then uh, this is just to, s to show whether it's sheet work or single sided so I can just double click on that and then it's not sheet work so I'm going to just click on the name and go down to the different marks and then look for the one that's says single sided and then that's basically it I'm just going to look for my Kodak mark this is just for plate exposure and stuff the measurements 
and then I'm just gonna double click on that. Cool, so our imposition's basically done now. So we just need nine of these because there's nine different posters. So once your imposition's completed to add more signatures, you make sure it's selected over here, and then you just click on this green button here to duplicate it. So then I'm gonna duplicate it eight times so that there's nine different posters. Okay, so basically this info is done now. So I'm gonna go save this info now. Go save as. And then in our J drive, in the jobs folder, uh, on Prenergy, we actually go look for the job, the, the same place you guys save the PDFs. And then I go to user defined folders and then give it the appropriate name. And then I normally just copy this name and save it. And then go control print, control P. And then we want to print a JDF of this because Printergy only reads the information from a JDF file. So in my comments, I just paste that text I just copied. Um, and whatever's in the comments, it will actually put in this comment over here. So that's where it gets the job number and this name from. So it will put it in the slug line over here. And then I just say print and it will print it in the same place where I saved the previous file. Okay, so that's basically done. So I can minimize this, go back to the job in Prenergy. And then on this top, top window here, uh, where it says in position plans, make sure you're on signatures, right click in the window somewhere and just click on import in position. And then just click on job folder to, to go to the actual jobs root folder and then go to user defined folders and then you have to click on this JDF file at the top and just click on import and just say OK. And then once that's done you can close that. See my imposition's in here now but now I actually have to pull the PDFs onto the imposition so you normally go find your page one and then click on the stop name here so you select all these pages and then you can just drag the first page to the to page one on your imposition at the top like this holding your, your left hand mouse button and just drag it on top of it and just release it here and then it will go place all your pdfs in the right positions on your imposition Okay, so once that's done, uh, I have to send this for proofing now. So I click on, on the actual name here, and then you can, you'll have, probably have to right click on it because you don't have the same tools I have. And then just go down to in position output, and then these are my different devices for, for proofing. This is going to go in the Epson because it's a bit too big for the iGen. So I'm going to select um, the Epson 9800 and just select this Hi-Fi. This is the normal, uh, the normal bond paper we use for normal proofs. And just say, click that and then just say OK. And then it will send my proofs to there. Cool, so that's basically how you imposition a simple job in preps.